Hey what's up guys, I'm back with a brand new video. It's time to do a speed test comparison between the Galaxy A23 versus the last year A22. And the new A23 has a Snapdragon 680 SoC with 6GP of RAM, while the A22 has a Helio G80 SoC with 6GP of RAM. So we have a big improvement, I would say, in the processor wise on paper. On the back, we have quad cameras on both phones. We have 50 megapixel with optical MS separation main camera with 5 megapixel ultra wide. Also, we have 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel, which is a depth sensor. While on the A22, we have 48 megapixel with optical MS separation main camera with the 8 megapixel ultra wide with a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel, which is a depth sensor. So, on the front, we have a 8 megapixel selfie camera versus a 13 megapixel on the A22. So, we have a downgrade with the ultra wide lens as well as with the phone physics camera and the back on both phones is still is made up of plastic and the frame also is made up of plastic on the front we have Goringula glass version 5 on the A23 versus a glass no information about the glass on the A22 also on the bottom we have headphone jack on both DC devices but we have single speaker on both phones no dual speakers so i am really really excited to see that how is the snapdragon 680 is gonna stack up against the last year A22 which has a Helio G80 SoC, same SoC as the A32. So without any wasting time, let's get right into it. Now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time. Here we go. Logo is came up first on the A23. Both phones is running on Android 12 with Samsung One UI version 4.1. So let's see who is faster new one or the old one and A22 is faster when it comes to booting up and you can see because this phone is running on one UI version core versus versus a full-fledged one UI on the A23 so we have one or two second difference between these two devices on the a23 we have 6.6 inch full hd plus pls lcd display with 90 hertz refresh rate while on the a22 we have 6.4 inch 720p plus super amoled display with 90 hertz refresh rate but we have notch on both phones still and the display is downgrade on the A23 so everything is closed up in the background no application is running in the background phone dialer very similar so next on the list is the settings that is very very similar I would say now let's go to the display and you can see we have 90 Hertz refresh rate versus the adaptive 90 Hertz which automatically switch between from 90 to 60 so now I'll check out some more application now let's start off with the Amazon shopping Snapdragon 680 versus Helio G80 faster on the A23 by a huge margin I would say in that area both phones is performing very very smooth so now let's open this and that is very similar as you can see so now let's see the scrolling again both phones is on 90 Hertz looks really really smooth I'll check out some games application now let's start off with the Candy Crush first A little more faster on the A23 and you can see so let me show the speaker first on the A22 max volume and here is the A23 yes on the speaker it is much improved on the A23 but still we have a single speaker on this phone no dual speaker Instagram similar Let's see Snapchat, Spotify, and that one faster on the A22. Let's see Subway Surfer. And the Snapdragon 680 is performing faster than the A22. But this time, the performance in the Subway Surfer very similar, and you can see. So that's that's really surprising opening up the temper and two and we have a downloading issue on the 
823 that is why it's faster and 822 is way behind because of this downloading issue so now let's opening up the pubg mobile heavy game Snapdragon 680 versus Helio G80 SoC both phones has a 6 GB of RAM so A23 is performing faster as you can see A23 is done and A22 now it is also done so this time we have 5 or 6 second difference opening up the tutor that is faster on the very similar now let's open Zedge that one a bit faster on the A23 let's see the scrolling is really smooth on both phones and the adaptive refresh rate on the new A23 is working absolutely fine last I'm launching the cameras on both phones default camera application let's see who is going to be the fastest one and that is very similar on both phones and the cam performance I feel it is more better on the A23 but as far as the colors are concerned it is more better on the A22 because we have super AMOLED display so the colors looks good on the A22 sharpness in the picture it is better on the A23 so now let's look at the front facing camera so here is the front facing camera looks like so again on the A23 we have a 8 megapixel versus a 13 megapixel so the front camera is better on the A23 so now let's see internet browsing speed I am using the default Samsung internet browser on both phones Wikipedia the same Wi-Fi network A22 faster there let's see the scrolling and that is face very smooth as well so now let's open this English faster on the A22 scrolling is looks again really really smooth so next on the list is the galaxy shop that one faster on the a22 again so scrolling looks again surprisingly smooth on both phones no lag whatsoever so now let's see ram management both phones has a 6 gp of ram let's see who is performed good in the ram management now let's start off with the phone dialer settings Amazon shopping let's see Candy Crush Saga refresh on the A23 Instagram Snapchat Spotify Subway Surfer let's see Temper N2 let's see PUBG Mobile so far we have one refresh on the A23 but not on the A22 opening up the tutor Zedge last way back to the internet browser and you can see and cast over up to say regarding the apps opening speed as you can see and the a23 is performing definitely more faster in games only i would say in system based application both phones is performing very similar in that area in terms of the ram mesh wise and the a23 is performing incredible in the ram management while on the a23 we have one refresh not a big deal and both phones also has a 5000 mAh battery size we have 15 watt fast charging 25 watt fast charging support with the A23 both phones is give you a 15 watt fast charger in the box so that's about it and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A23 versus the last year A22 let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well and I will see you in my next video Peace out.